there, everybody. Hello, and welcome to Relaxed Mail. All right, so today we're talking about something that a lot of people don't do. I'm actually kind of enjoying it. I like some of the benefits that I am actually getting from this, and that is when you get outside, which, you know, I've kind of harped a lot about once you outside, get you outside. There's a lot of benefits to being outside. Get outside, get walking, get your blood flowing, things like that. Um, one thing that I don't ever talk about it so much, but I've, I'm beginning to find um, reason to think that it is true, um, just because I'm using it a bit, is when you get outside and you go walking, go walk barefooted all right now this is a bit on the woo-woo side folks so um i know there's going to be some of y'all that are going oh dude this dude hey he just lost all cred and he's going to check off and he's going to be gone fair enough uh, i can live with that um hopefully you'll be back on ne on the next uh uh show but or next episode but for this week we're going to talk about uh yeah walking around barefoot outside there's several uh, benefits, at least that I believe are benefits that happen because you go trodden and hoofing it outside. One, it toughens your feet up. I mean, if you've got kids, you want to have some tough feet because never fails. The moment you leave Legos, uh, you give them a set of Legos, they're going to leave those puppies right where you need to be, right in the middle, uh, middle of the walkway or the hallway, right when you have to go to the bathroom real bad in the middle of the night and you have no way of seeing them until you plant firmly in the middle of that minefield. And the moment you do, you're gonna really wish you didn't have such pansy feet. And yes, man, most of us walk around these days with some mighty pansy feet. You see some of the guys who walk around um, in the jungle, they can walk around in thorn brush and it, they not flinch. Why is that? Well, because they've got really thick calluses on their feet. They basically have got soles on this bottom of their feet. Um, they've really built up the foot leather, the pad leather. That's why uh, when you see dogs who are outside a lot and walking a lot, they've got some really calloused foot pads. Um, and yeah, we're I'm kind of uh, comparing our feet to dogs' feet. And uh, because it does you good to walk around. Now, not just because you get thicker feet and you're able to survive a, a, a Lego minefield, you're also able to, there's other, uh, other reasons. One is, uh, whether you believe it or not, I personally think, uh, think there's something to it uh, with, uh, with reflexology. It kind of gives you a natural reflexology uh, treatment when you go walking around outside. Now, you don't have to go trodden on, on concrete and stuff. Trodden on, it, Walking on concrete is harder on your joints because it doesn't give like uh, like earth does. But um, you can also, if you're like uh, like me or like my uh, my basset hound was, she was did not like walking on the grass for the sole fact that those big old feet of hers picked up every dang sticker there was in the area. She would be walking along and all of a sudden, boom, she'd have a flat tire. So you'd have to stop and pick the pick the uh, the goat head or what or uh, grass sticker uh, grass burr out of her out of her paw, and away we go. And eventually she just she would walk on the edge of the road, but she wouldn't walk in the grass because it never failed. Or she would walk on the grass and bah, oh, she she would pick it pick one up front foot back foot. Uh, sometimes she would walk right through the middle of a big old patch and all four feet. She'd take out all four feet. It was yeah, <laughs> poor girl was a was a. Uh, a, a sticker magnet. So I understand picking up stickers is no fun, especially if you step on a goat head. That is an instant, uh, uh, instant cuss fest right there because it just, there's something about those. Uh, just big old honking, you know, thorns that just sink up to you. Uh, and I always seem to find that nerve right in the bottom of your heel, you know. So <laughs> I'm getting off on a, uh, on a rabbit trail. If you don't know what reflexology is, uh, let me explain just a little bit. Um, there are some philosophical beliefs that uh, the bottom of your foot corresponds with different parts of your body. Um, and that uh, it's not exactly chi, but there's energies that uh, can get 
clogged up, uh, clogged up and, 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 and stuck depending on uh, depending on your uh, different ailments you have that's kind of how they, they view it um, you, they see that uh, say like if you've got a lot of heartburn there might be some type of energy or some type of problem in the heart area and so they can ex uh, apply pressure um, uh, to the heart zone on the bottom of your foot and it's supposed to help relieve the the whatever issue that particular uh, uh, particular organ has so and you've got like your big toe I think is supposed to be the brain and and it just kind of works around and eventually down to where you, you know your heel is uh, is uh, the, the reproductive organs um, and the reason that I know that is because we've I've actually got a uh, reflexology mat that uh, I ha I'll uh, roll out and it's just got all these different hard plastic lumps on it and uh, I can walk on my toes, on the ball, on the balls of my feet, and all that. But once I start trying to put my heels down, um, just hurts like a son of a gun. I just I can't put I can't put pressure on 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 my heels. Now, if you look at the uh, on the map, it, the, the little diagrams that they have, we joke because um, the uh, di the diagram shows all the different organs and stuff that's supposed to be there. But down at the bottom is the heel, and it says for the ovaries. Uh, yeah, I, I, I've got Audis <laughs> when it comes to ovaries. My my ovaries are, are are not where they're supposed to be. So anyhow, we we joke that uh, yeah, my ovaries are still giving me problems every time I walk on the thing, and I'm like, ah. <laughs> so, um, so I, but as you continue to walk and as you do the, you apply pressure to the different zones, especially the ones that give you a little bit of a problem things get a little more balanced so as you walk outdoors and you're out inside and as you step on you know the assorted stick and rock and 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 things like that and lumps of uh lumps of hard clay and another stuff that you uh, encounter when you're walking these acts automatically apply pressure to your different uh reflexology zones and so you it helps to ensure the the energies that that flow through your organs and things like that uh, stay flowing the way that they're supposed to flow the the philosophies of it I don't fully grasp uh, that's more it's uh, kind of an Eastern philosophy type of thing and um, I find it interesting I find there to be some benefits to it I don't have that I'm, I need to walk on my mat a little bit more again because I, uh, I've been having some some reflux there recently and I this I past couple three weeks I haven't been walking on my mat and uh, just starting to get back outside and walking on on the grass again um, because well it's it's a nice sunny day today but we have had a week of straight rain here in, uh, here in Oklahoma it was crazy so anyhow again rabbit trail let's get uh, back online all right Another reason that walking barefoot is good for you, um, and this one will turn even more people off than the reflexology, and that is grounding. All right. Now I'm not a hundred percent buying on it, or at least I don't buy into it like a lot of people do. I mean, they get, you can get so uh, extravagant. You can get so extravagant on your uh, on earthing, is what they like to call it, um, is in that you actually buy mattress pads and blankets and things like that that actually connect to the ground plug of your of your electrical sockets now it's not none if you ever paid attention you know the ground plug is a big old round thing so it's not going to fit in the, in your hot or ne, uh, in your uh, your positive or negative terminals of, of an electrical outlet but still you're plugging it into an outlet you're basically connecting yourself up to uh, to something that you know is electrical based and but it's uh, supposed to allow for you to drain your energies the, the thoughts of all this and I'm going off of some just very basic I'm not diving deep into it uh, as some people do but uh, the belief is we are bioelectrical beings all right we have electricity effect is what causes us to move our muscles and causes us to think and we have electrical storms in our in our brain which is a uh, basically is our means of thinking um, 
and so like anything that is um, that is uh, electrical electrically oriented you know you can build up a charge and when you build up a charge in like your computer or some other electronics things start acting a little bit wonky until you get it grounded and you drain all that excess all the excess energy out not all the energy because you drain all the energy out I, I would assume that you would just kind of kill over and die because you know you drained your battery or something so you get um, if you if you get outside and you're actually walking around you're actually grounding yourself to the earth and the reason why I buy into some of that is because I have been around people who are in agriculture. People who come in contact, who work the earth. My great grandfather had two acres worth of garden. Um, and he would go through there. And yeah, he had a tractor that he would plow it, to plow the ground up with, but he still was in there. He would still be planting all his, uh, his cucumbers and his peas and his black eyed peas and, and, you know, the corn and the okra and, all the other stuff he was in the, he would get down and he would actually work the he would work the earth and get uh, get everything planted a lot of the people go to a a good a great example of this is go to a farmers market one where the people actually grow the food they don't they just don't buy the excess produce and resell it there but if you get someone who actually grows their actual their own produce and talk to them they are the most mellow. They are the most relaxed, the most laid back, the most enjoyable people to talk to. They are most most earthbound creatures I have I have personally met. Um, they are sol they are grounded. They are centered. And there's a, there's that those two words often mean the same, um, especially when it comes to a person's demeanor. They are very centered. You can't knock someone. You can't really. It's really hard to get them worked up and angry if they're centered. And I think that might be some of the problem. I, and that's, now this is me going off on a tirade and, and thinking, uh, just me thinking, which is always dangerous. But I often wonder if that might be what some of the problem is with today's society. Why everybody gets all outraged all the time. And oh my God, I'm, now granted, news doesn't help. Um, other, uh, the, the colleges themselves, they don't help. Two of it. But at the same time, you get, you can, you, you find, I think that if you were to be able to go into a, uh, you were to get kids out and be outside and enjoy the outdoors like they did. Maybe it's, maybe parents do need to, uh, I didn't do it, but maybe parents do need to, you know, relegate uh, electronics to a later time. Who knows? I, I, I personally don't. My kids, I, they had electronics in their hands from the time they were able to figure out how to use them. Um, and uh, they would have access to, they had random access to the computer and things like that. Um, they had their televisions, things like that. I grew up with television, so, and, you know, but at the same time, it was, we were, the television was turned off on, on Saturdays, usually around 11 o'clock if I hadn't gotten, if I hadn't gotten outdoors yet, I was told turn the damn television off get outdoors and so I would have to get outdoors and I would you know I'd be all mad because I hadn't finished watching cartoons but I was outdoors and I was on a bicycle we were running through there we'd go to the our uh, to the lilac bush in the, in the backyard and we would take our pocket knives and cut off a big old piece of, uh, of, uh, of, of twig um, a little branch and then we would grab kite string we'd tie up make uh, make a bow out of the kite string and then we'd have arrow wars with each other and we you know we were always outdoors especially in the summertime